Okay, welcome everyone. Let's will start our lesson three on strategic management. My name is Anjum Satar. My email address here. If you need me, please drop me emails. To, so today we'll go through LO3 learning outcome three. So first, before starting our LO3, we'll a bit go through LO1 what we discuss. So during LO1, we discuss about critically evaluate the position of an organization its current market so where we are what is a current organization position in a market like you know tesco or various other organization we can critically analyze the effect of existing plan what is our existing plan what effect will be on our organization in term of profitability in term of the stakeholder satisfaction so all we sort of things we discuss during lesson one lesson two we discuss about be able to purpose strategic options. So we discuss about what is meant by option, why we make the decision. We discuss about various sort of option, critically discuss the relationship between corporate business and operational strategy. Corporate business as an overall organization business, corporate objective, operational strategies like marketing strategies, like HR strategies, these are all operations. So those are the operational strategy. Apply strategic models tools and develop strategic options. So we discuss few strategic tools for the which the link also in uh, LO3 as well, which is learning outcome three further we'll discuss today. Evaluate all options so we can evaluate by looking the cost and are doing cost and benefit analysis. So all these sort of things we discuss during lesson one and two. Today we'll go through lesson three, create appropriate VN mission and strategic goal for an organization. Purpose a suitable structure that fits to the strategic plan, and we'll discuss. You know, create a resource-based uh, strategies or the implementation of the plan. How we can, and then of course we'll go through the, the next lesson, our LO4 and 5. So please, uh, our discussion will cover almost you know uh, each and every point in inductive content. But it's good to be when you do your assignment, just focus on these, you know, the keyword buzzword, which we're supposed to be covered in our assignment, uh, our discussion and our learning as well. They put so much stuff there, but a couple of things is a generic discussion will cover. So I, maybe my slides not reflecting each and every word. Those are given in the inductive content. <clears throat> okay, let's we'll start. So be able to create strategies and implementation plan. What is meant by strategy? We discuss a bit. Any thoughts? What is a, a how we can create effective strategy? Well, if we know what we want to do, we devise plans to achieve it, and that plan is a strategy. Brilliant. So plan is a strategy, is a mean action plan. So the word strategy is derived from the Greek word strategies, which we use again military, because of course our competitors carry on changing and their move carry on changing. So our strategies need to be reflect according to the environment, according to the what is uh, what are the mood of our competitors. So those sort of things we need to be. To implement effectively, you make a wonderful plan. You can't implement if you don't have a properly environmental scanning. And we not contradict with our missions, our values, our organization objective, all we need to keep in mind. So that's we need to. And so let's we'll start 3.1. 3.1 is create appropriate VN mission strategic goal for an organization. So which we'll go through. So here we're looking first a strategic plan start with the clear defined business mission. According to the great scholar Morseberg, define mission as a follow. Mission describe the organization basic function in society in terms of the product and the services it's produced for its customer. So what pro product we want to produce and what sort of customer we have. Is it upper class, middle class, lower class? How will segment it? So always we need to look around. So if we look in our own business point of view, we need to look around in accounting business. What sort of the clients we have? A small, medium, or sole traders? Those sort of you know we have. So we can 
define different packages those will meet their needs so maybe we can look around if your employees is up to this level we'll charge you this package and those sort of things we can as well in accounting business or any other service providers we need to be look around clear business mission why we are we are here to serve you we are here to provide you excellent service different missions can be in our organization which will go through a purpose mission is why does the business exist why we are in is it just we are in a, normally we don't say we are here we are here to serve because the organization is an artificial person they supposed to be treat other human being equally those organization they not treat the people like to be treated they can't sustain in a organization effectively of course in a organization uh, objective can be uh in a organization objective can be to create a wealth for the shareholders so purpose can create a wealth hello welcome so uh we can create a uh wealth for the shareholder so shareholders in the investor in our organization does it exist to satisfy the needs of all stakeholders so stakeholder who has anybody has any interest in the business is called stakeholder is very difficult to be fulfilled but we need to be try our best to be uh, fulfill their basic uh, expectation really as a shareholder we need to balance their expectation so stakeholder analysis is very very crucial uh, in a business so strategy and strategic scope so mission statement provide the commercial logic for a business and also define two thing the product or the services it offer therefore its competitive position what position we have how many how much percent shares we own it yes the competency is through which we try to succeed and its uh, method of competing so we need to be like tesco as the uh, we uh, if we look their mission so we treat the people to be treated so that's a big statement we treat the people to be treated so we'll treat everyone they supposed to be treated so we not really cheat customer we should provide the quality services we should provide the good environment for our employees so all we need to look around in and that can be our missions like these company and we provide the value added value added so how will add the value value not only just meant by you charge the lower price value added means what we promise we dispose to be deliver and we'll deliver more than the expectation of the clients so for example these boundaries may be set in term of the geography market business methods and product and so all we need to look around and then the decisions management made about the strategic scope and define the nature of the business which we are in okay anybody any question okay any question welcome guys next we looking the policies and standard behavior a mission needs to be translate into everyday action so if the mission you make it you write it but action your action not represent it so like we treat people like supposed to be treated so if we don't do it we can't really sustain so that's why implementation is very important what you say you should do it outstanding customer service then the policy standard should be created and monitored and uh, test delivery we supposed to do they might include the monitoring the speed which is telephone call we can look around we can make the calls and we can listen the customer what they are saying and we can reflect anybody any question no okay next we looking no. next we well then thank you next we looking strategic plan values and culture what is meant by values value of a business are the base or unstated beliefs of or uh, of the people who work in the business so these can be include the business principle social policy yes we treat we respect we don't do child labor we help society we put ourselves in the customer shoes we look ourselves in the customer eyes we always you know 
loyalty and commitment are imp implied in spite to the sacrifice their personal goals for the good and the, for of the business as a whole so we always looking at the business demonstrate high level of commitment and the loyalty to its staff so that's we need to look around we can create a value it's a teamwork we treat equally we always respect believe we are diverse and these you know the things we strong believe on the teamwork like you know so these can be our values strong sense of mission help to create a work environment where it is that's why mission is very important so what role does mission statement plays in the marketing planning if we do the marketing plan or any other hr plan or various other operational plan in practice strong mission statement help in three areas it provide an outline how the marketing plan should seek and fulfill the mission it provide the uh, means evaluating and screening the uh, marketing plan where we can look around screening can be environmental screening it provide the incentive and implement the marketing plan so next our area of discussion is a value what's come in your mind value value is very very crucial in our organization so value form the f foundation of the business so management style value provide the justification of the behavior and therefore we need to look around marketing the cn and consider the following examples so if we look the craft foods so we have set our insights on the becoming a gl global snacks so powerhouse so always we need to be thus we need to create our values to be reached there so brand people love starbucks to inspire and nature and the human spirit one person one cup and one neighborhood at a time so how we can do it believe in better so believe in better how will we believe in better so if we don't create a value in our organization to meet all the stakeholders need uh the and the balance their expectation and fulfill so then we can uh, and these we need to create a value honesty respect equality no discrimination no child labor so all these can can create a value in our organization anybody any question no so please when you write your assignment we can choose organization and we can discuss the value of of our chosen organization it can be tesco asda morrison mark and spencer so if we we'll go on their website is we can find all their values okay strategic planning can also be known as a long term plan long term plan it can be there is a no uh, certain time limit for the strategic long term planning it can be 5 year it can be 3 years it can be 1 year because for one some organization 1 year it can be very long so you need to think about nature of the organization consider the long term it can be different consider the whole organization others tactic of strategic plan or it's give the direction if we don't have a plan it's not provide the direction if we don't have any plan we are just working randomly so it's consider all stakeholders so it's look how to gain sustainable competitive advantage so competitive advantage the advantage which we supposed to be have against our competitors so always we need to look around uh, uh, we need to think about that's why what we want how we can sustain so sustainability is very very crucial without compromising the needs of the future generation we want to sustain always sustainability we need to look around three p's we always need to look around the profit if we not earning profit we can't sustain we need to look around the people if the people not stay in our organization we don't fulfill their needs we can't sustain and the planet if we don't care about the planet or on uh, environment so if we just polluting environment we can't sustain longer term in a as a business so all these you know we need to be balanced as plate organization and resources and competency which will go through for this slide so strategy and strategic planning advantage force organization to look ahead improve fit with the environment better use of resources if we don't have 
but sometime it can be time consuming it can be expensive it can be the plan because environment carry on changing and always we need to look around some disadvantages as long term planning okay we can use three approaches uh, top down approaches of strategic planning traditional approaches we can look around the strategic analysis in under this we look around the examination of the current strategic position what position we have we need to analyze how much market shares we have so where we want to see ourselves in future first we need to analysis what what where are we are now strategic choices what choices we are if we want to be go there if you want to reach somewhere if you want to travel you have, have to look around different options so decision making is mean the finding the best option strategic implementation strategy in action so always we make a plan but if we don't put it in action so we're not going to achieve our objective so when we're looking at the strategic planning process set a mission establish the objective internal appraisal we do appraisal what resources have, do we have human being do we have a money we normally say three m's men money and material so all three types of we need to appraise those things we have external appraisal yes we need to do external appraisal so what sort of environmental appraisal as well political economic social technological environment where we appraise we need to look around the stakeholder appraisal what type of the stakeholders to whom we are going to deal what sort of the nature what sort of the environment if we have a global strategy global plan we want to expand business in china we want to expand business in saudi we want to expand business in nigeria we want to expand business every country have some unique uh, stakeholders so we need to look around how we will fill how we will deal them to generate the strategic options we need to look around the strategic choices we need to look around plan and implement strategy and review and control so all we need to look around strategic planning process anybody any question okay modern adaptation according to the johnson and school we need to look around the strategic we have to do strategic position analysis we need to look around the strategic choices and then we need to make our strategies in action so then we need to implement so according to so we can include the views of johnson and school in our assignment as well strategic choices follow the strategic analysis is based upon the following three element generation strategic option the growth acquisition diversification are so growth we want to grow more we want to acquire more companies we want to acquisition and uh, diversification how much different business like uh, tesco in in the property business as well tesco in the banking sector tesco in the insurance so all concentrations we need to look around how we can and uh, evaluation of the option and assess their relative merit so all we need to look around if i'll go option this what will be happen option 2 option 3 option of strategies and the option of organization then we need to identify option and we need to select which one is the best any question okay that's all about 3.1 3.2 we need the purpose and suitable structure of organization that fit you know with the organization plan strategic plan so structures we discuss few different flat structure that can be the organization a uh, stay uh, so top down bottom up approach is there is a centralized structure everything will keep centralized decentralized structure where we can give many layers in the organization structure that can be other when we will make strategy and the business plan so one is called hel helicopter views so when we making the strategies we can look around corporate strategies establish the future direction of the entire organization today we will really focus on the business level strategy so you need to look around strategic position so when we looking strategic position we need to look around environment we need to look around the purpose for it we need to look around the culture where we operate 
end risk capability do we have what sort of the capability like i mentioned you the difference between the capabilities and competencies capability mean you have we have ability to do something like you pass your driving test you are capable to do dr drive but you're not a competent but of with the experience after a while you become a competent you don't need to look around the maneuver which we used to be as a new pass driver so then we need to look around strategic choices business we need to look around we need to look around the strategic choices international acquisition and alliance we can acquire other companies innovation and corporate as a corporation so strategic choices all possible business choices we need to look around and then we need a strategy in action so then we need to be implement our strategy how we can we need to look around when we'll implement something we need to organize it. we need to do practice we'd carry on training we need to look around processes we have and we need to evaluate if we'll make a plan and we don't evaluate we don't control we're not going to achieve it so business level strategy that can be we can look around as a business level that's called sbu strategic business unit when you think about the ford ford have many brands ford focus ford fiesta ford mondeo so each unit is one strategic business unit so that's how we call sbus okay organization corporate level then we can make the strategy at the business level is means strategic business level then we can look around in the structural point of view and operational level so business activities each you know what their operation and what activity we supposed to do ford mondeo ford fiesta ford focus so what their operational well operational is marketing is one of operation hr is one of operation so our business level strategy then operational level strategies we need to anybody any question no okay so when we do business level identify strategic business unit what basis of the competitive strategies are available how do the strategic business unit achieve and sustain competitive advantage so if we can't you know could also consider hyper competition do we how much competition we have use cooperative strategies and achieve advantage through the game theory which will go through strategic business units usually refer to the business of the large business at the division at the profit center called sbus like nestle worldwide they have each business unit coffee pet care nutrition chocolate so nestle has many product so identify sbus market market based criteria customer type product type and competitor capability based strategic capabilities what we have so we can look around uh, all the strategic business unit is a part of as a organization so like ford five star ford motor ford so what type of the customer we have what type of product services what sort of the competitor we have what capabilities in the car we can uh, what are the capabilities we have and we can deliver innovation innovative product so base basis of the competitive strategies what are the basis how we can make the price yes think about the ryanair differentiation how we can differentiate ourselves hybrid is more innovations and the focus achieving competitive advantage sustainability hyper competitive strategies collaboration and the gam theory which will go through next generic strategies will discuss in one of other units cost leadership we leader in the cost like a royan air cost focus with one area we want to focus in the cost differentiation everything we are different than our competitors differentiation focus we just one thing is different than our competitors which they not doing we do home delivery they don't do it we open 24/7 they don't do it like when we'll compare with the morrison and 
my test score so we we can say you know so maybe some focus on the cast portrait generic strategies argued that two fundamental ways to achieving competitive advantage cost are the scope of the product and the services so always we need to look around how we can differentiate so portrait define achieving competitive advantage we need to relocate in the country where the low cost that can be cost saving through the volume that can be using organization experience to increase the productivity designing product with the saving in mind and locating organization close to the key market so always we need to look around economies of scale cost efficiencies and product process design so all this will lead to the competitive advantage how could the strategic unit achieve the sustained sustained differentiation based advantage differentiation creating a uniqueness the organization seek to achieve advantage by serving its target market better than the competitor create difficult stations or which other people can't do it can't really adopt it differentiation required the clarity about the two factor strategic customer is the differentiation based are the key competitors who are you competing against okay so when we look BMW strategic business unit achieves sustained differentiation. So working, we can work in and we can argue. What do you think? They have a unique. They have a differentiation. What do you think, BMW? Well, they they are, they, they talk of of really high value and 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 technically excellent product. yes so and competing with mercedes when we look the mercedes and there yes is both you know luxury are the high high uh, dem market they are hitting yes so they are competing so they try to be differentiate in design yes in design yeah in models so they carry on because it's very difficult because other is carry on So, so sporty image and conservative values yes so two different thought in the car as well yes then we looking the one model is called the strategy clock which we can use according to the porter also give this model so porter saying you can consider the strategies as a clock so you can say there nothing there first then low price maybe then you move to hybrid a bit higher differentiation then the focus differentiation then you can look around strategies ultimate so we carry on strategies chaining which is create the value because some strategies can't be fit you know in the c product and benefits identify the zone feasible strategy differentiation focus so maybe in different area you have different strategies in different part of the world so not just one strategy forever in different product so that's a clock you know you carry on moving so however there is alternative view about the focus on the business strategies achieving competitive advantage defining a sense of the strategy as a competitive advantage we can look around the conflicts can be by rejecting this notion we need to extreme non conflict indeed love we need to if there is a no conflict it can be a product centric mentality we can constraining on the opening your mindset of course we need to look around if we don't do it we can't understand your customer deeply if you don't understand the customer deeply customer analysis is a fundamental to complete the sense of customer segmentation so customer segmentation customer deeply understanding and product centric and different product according to that so that will help to be achieve our strategic objective so focus on the strategic attentions types of competitive advantage we want basic unit of competitive advantage 
activities will give you competitive strategies. Is it your rivalry? Are you really competing with our real estates or the customer bonding? So we need to be look around We resource based views and which will go through the next slide for the slides. Any any question? No. OK, business level strategic choices. We can identify each business unit. Competitive uh, strategies in the hyper competitive conditions. So hyper competitive ability to immunitate. We need to look around the strategic reposition and block first mover advantages. Can we overcome the barrier to entry? If we want to enter, how we can overcome these barriers or how we can draw the barriers to be nobody can enter. So if we want to be enter in the pound land, Territory and we want to sell in like a every our things as well because the pound land is just a massive as they growing they can afford it to bring more and more things in the pound land. So we need to be look around how we can do it. So then is seven S model which will go through the is called the so we need to focus on the seven S approach. Superior stakeholder satisfaction. If we are satisfying more than our competitors, we will be superior. Strategic saying as mean the new knowledge we are adapting, uh, getting position for the speed. We are quickly reacting, positioning for surprise. We can surprise competitors. We quickly look around, shifting the rules of competition we quickly shifting the rules of competition we are maybe going and making some cartel is illegal in this country but in other country the companies merge together or some acquisition or some joint advertising or the joint product launching singling the strategic intent so communicate intentions we can look around what an intention we have in order to and Simultaneously, we can take some steps, you know, confuse our competitors. We don't, they don't know. We carry on changing, uh, mixing our offers and shifting the things. So always, we need to look around what our competitors we. Okay, that's all about discussion about the cooperative strategy in which you know the firm together to achieve the shared objective cooperative so we can cooperate with the one three means firm used to grow and improve performance internal development merger acquisition and cooperation core and critical part of the firm strategies today has implication the firm's corporate businesses and international strategies competitive advantage we can through the cooperative strategies we can make it Using cooperative strategies increase selling power. We and you advertise together. Accountant and solicitor work together. Yes, so we can look around, increase the selling power, increase the buying power. Yes, so increase our advertising power. We can approach more clients. Build the barriers to entry and avoid substitution, substitute product. Gain entry and competitive advantage. Share work with the customer. Gain more leverage from the public investment. So game theory. I'm not sure you pay, play Monopoly and not too much, but a lot of you know the people playing. Insight to the competitor interaction based on. We can look around how we will be Monopoly. How will lead the business? Yes. How will be unique in terms of how will compete the respond to our strategic move? Be aware of your own strategic signal. What we price cut strategies only work when the competitor don't match you. And again, the market said if the price cuts are match, no advantage of shares, but the everyone suffer from the lower price. So you will drop the price, other will drop the price, you will drop the price again, other will. They get sometime your sometime they so that is game. So we can look around business strategies about the seeking competitive advantage. We can look around the generic strategies. We can look around the manager to think the sustainable strategies, hyper 
कंपटेटिव सिचुएशन एंड कोऑपरेटिव स्ट्रेटजीज एंड गेम थ्योरी सो इज अ गेम यस नेक्स्ट वी लुकिंग थ्री पॉइंट थ्री क्रिएट अ रिसोर्स स्ट्रेटजीज एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन प्लान वट इज अ रिसोर्स बेस्ड स्ट्रेटजीज a uh, strategy is assert competitive advantage superior performance of a organization explain how we can achieve their capabilities resources we need to look around what resources men powers money and uh, how effectively we use them so that's the resource and competencies we have a implied we have a empty space how effectively we use it so we'll how we can work full capacity strategic capability are the capability of the organization that contribute long term survival resources are the asset of the organization have or can call upon so from the partner or the suppliers so we need to look around those competencies are the way the asset is used how competent so some businesses with the 1 million they can generate 4 million some businesses with 1 million they can generate very little profit so we not how we are competent we use asset so always component of strategic capabilities we have resources machinery we have balance sheet cash we have managers employees so physical financial and human way we can utilize the plant efficiency productivity and flexibility ability to raise the fund and uh, how the people gain and use the skills that's all about and that leads to the long term competitive advantage redundant some capabilities we have that we carry on redundant so the thing that knowledge we have it becoming outdated that's mean redundant so we need to carry on changing dynamic capability the capabilities mean the changing so we have need to be ability to renew them we have a new there are new technology new way of thinking the business yes like think about tesco as the self scanning machines generic dynamic capability sensing capability constantly we need to be scan explore new opportunities do we have that capabilities seizing capability address the opportunity through new product reconfiguring new product and the processes may be required renewal and reconfigure of the capability in an investment on the new technology we are selling books but now we can sell online and we can sell ebooks so otherwise as a w smith we can threshold that's the minimum if we can't we can't really sustain a threshold is a key is a key performance indicator that's what is the minimum required are those needed for organization to meet the necessary requirement of the market so we can qualify this these capabilities are those are the required to achieve the competitive those are the unique you can be a winner in a market if we have those so resources we need threshold resources need uh, competencies uh, threshold competencies extensive uh, resources we need uh, of course we need the uh, competencies for this to apply these so core competency linked to the skills activities and the resources that's together to deliver the deliver the customer values strategic capabilities and competitive advantage can be next with the model is vrio model that is called value how will create the value how what is meant by rarity in immutability and organizational support so we can value do the capability exist where the value of the customer we can see do the capability exist that no other fewer competitors owed it in immutability of the capability difficult for them to are the costly for the competitors organizational support is the organization appropriate organized to exploit the capability people they are involved the people they are exploring what skills and abilities they have and how they can use it so if we have a organization structure where we not involve the low level staff so we can achieve you know these things so all these been explained in the value strategic capabilities what is meant by 
Yes, so all these were rare capability possess uniqueness. T is a temporary inimitability are those competitors find difficult sustainable advantage. And then last thing we need to look around the stakeholder analysis, how we can keep them satisfy, encourage and monitor only and keep informed. So we need to do the stakeholders to so stakeholders, competitors, media, consumer group, government, then customer, employees, shareholders, suppliers, all these are the stakeholders. Implement our strategies, the resources we need to be carry on doing analysis of the stakeholders as well to be implement our strategies effectively. Any questions? No. So today lessons we discuss about how we can make, how we can implement and what sort of, you know, the resources we require to be and uh, different approaches of strategies or strategic plan. Anybody, any question? We all okay? No. I'm okay. okay. Brilliant. So please, uh, if you have any question, drop me an uh, email. And uh, those really want, you know, there's some sample assignment I'm trying to arrange. And I'm free next week as well due to half term week. And I'll try and send you emails as well. So, so that will, those will help you to be structure your assignment. So please, if you have any question, ask me and drop me i'll get back to you as soon as possible hope so i'll see you next week and have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you back. and uh it's really nice so weather will be nice because it's a long weekend huh? okay thank you see you all next week then thank you thank you